welcome to part two of this tutorial on creating a run cycle in After Effects. Now we have actually created our first looping run cycle, just our first steps, and it's beginning to look good with actual solid contact on the ground with our feet, so that it looks like it's a real run. But what we want to do now is repeat this all the way along our 12 second timeline. So how do we do that in a smart way? I could simply select these last few keyframes here and go for the correct amount of time and then edit copy edit paste and go all the way along my timeline repeating it but that's actually not a smart way of working what I need to add is an expression an expression that will look at what I've done and repeat it along the timeline and that expression is called the loop out expression now all you need to do is alt click or option click on the stopwatch of the property that you want to add this expression to so eventually we'll be adding it to all of these properties and then we can actually find it here if you go to the expression language menu and go to property you'll find one that says loop out it says type cycle and then number of keyframes zero but I'm actually just going to type it out because of the number of keyframes that we're working on I think it's easier if you just type it straight so you select the property and you go loop out loop and then with a capital O for out open brackets and then speech marks or quotation marks which is shift 2 on my keyboard and then cycle c-y-c-l-e again speech marks or quotation marks again above 2 and then close brackets and then hit enter on the keypad and now if I take the current time indicator back to the beginning this is the bounce that we've animated and I hit the space bar you'll watch it bounce all the way through everything else will stop at this point but the bounce continues because loop out says okay what keyframes have I got right what I want to do is loop these keyframes all the way through all the way through to the end of my timeline so it's simply looking at these keyframes and looping them all the way through so I can actually add that to all the other properties down here and the simple way of doing it is to make sure you selected the actual property so it's position and then go edit copy expression only and then I can add it to all the other properties so I will add it to all the other properties just alt click on them and then edit paste and again do that for all the other properties I'll come back to you after I've done that okay so this is the last one edit paste so now all of them have the loop out expression applied so let's go back to the beginning and let's hit the space bar and see what we end up with And so we actually have a nice smooth run cycle just by using loop out, open brackets, speech marks, cycle, speech marks, close brackets. Now the beauty of what we've done is that if we make any changes to our keyframes, loop out is just going to reflect that all the way through the timeline. So if I had copied and pasted keyframes all the way along the timeline and I wanted to make a change to say the total run cycle, say I wanted to run over one second as opposed to two, then I'd need to have deleted all the keyframes and just had the first five and rejigged those and then copied and pasted all the way through. But actually what I want to do is I want to take all of these keyframes and let's say move them down to one second. So what you can do is you can just click to one side and go across and actually with this particular one you can go all the way down and select all the keyframes then holding the ALT key on a PC, the OPTION key on a Mac, you can just click and drag and move all of them to one second. And now, what we can see is that the run cycle will happen over one second. Just hit my space bar, and I've got a much faster run cycle than I had before. And I didn't have to do anything more except change the actual keyframes. The run cycle is still taking place, it's taking place in a much smaller time. If I make any changes to any of my keyframes, they are going to be reflected along the whole timeline because of this loop out cycle expression. And as you can see, now that it's rendered through, it's running nice and fast all the way through. What a difference that makes. Now I'm going to go back to two seconds by doing Control Z to bring them all back to two seconds for the next thing I want to demonstrate. How do we make him? run through the scene so far he's running on the spot but now what we want him to do is run through our scene 
How do we do that? Well, the first thing we need to do is create a new composition. So we click on the new composition icon and call this one running straight. Make sure it's the same size as our present composition and we can make this one say six seconds long. It doesn't need to be 12. So six seconds long, and click OK. And into that composition, we can bring in the puppet composition, which is actually the one that we've animated. So we drag into the puppet composition. And now we have the man running on the spot. And what we want to do is animate him through. So it's as simple as selecting the layer, hitting P for position, and then moving the man to where we want him to start. So we can start him off screen over here. Stick the stopwatch for position, and then go to the end of our timeline, and then shift the man across while holding the shift key so we can constrain him to running in a straight line across to the other side. And now when we do a RAM preview, I'm going to hit zero on my numpad, we have the man running through the scene. He's a bit low, probably needed to move him up a bit, but you get the idea. So he's running through the scene. Okay, now what if we want him to run the opposite direction? Well, it's as simple as this. We can take the layer and we can duplicate it and then on that top layer what we can do is right click on it and go to transform and flip horizontal and now what we've got is well they're both running from the same place so we actually need to exchange our keyframes so if we actually select the layer and hit P for position take the end keyframe and move it to the beginning take the beginning keyframe and move it right to the end get these in place and now if you like you can have two of them running in opposite directions and crossing over in the middle and of course you can play with it and do whatever you want with layers as they run through there is one other thing that we can think about is how do we make it look as if he is running towards us so what i'm going to do is i'm going to create a new composition for this again so a new composition just going to call it towards and uh, let's make this one perhaps eight seconds long so you can just highlight the whole thing do eight point and then hit return so it's eight seconds long and I'm going to drag Puppet back into that one as well. Now this time with the layer selected I'm going to hit P for position and then hold the shift key and hit S for scale. And what we want to do is actually have him very small at the top corner. But this time let's have him running from this corner down to this corner. So let's again select the layer, right click on the layer, go to transform, flip horizontal. And then what we can do is we can scale him right down to start off with. So he's fairly small, move him right off screen up here and then hit the stopwatch for position and scale and then go to the end of our timeline by hitting the end key and then pull him all the way through but also at the same time we can scale him right up so he's nice and big and then continue pulling him all the way through now when you do a RAM preview you'll see that he appears to run towards us as he's running through the scene now obviously one of the things you might want to think about is making him run a bit quicker you might also want to think about the path that your character is running on and obviously you'll have to animate the arms but that's the basics of creating a run cycle which is also of course the basics of creating a walk cycle except it's not so extreme well i hope you found these tutorials useful my name's andrew davis and thank you for watching mm -hmm.